Hello everyone, welcome back to Emmanuel Tutorials. Today we'll be seeing a doubt asked by one of the students in the comment section of Emmanuel Tutorials. This is a sketch the signal example and a ramp type of example. So before we start, if you have not subscribed to Emmanuel Tutorials yet, do subscribe and share this video with your friends in need. If you also have any doubt related to electronics or computer science engineering, please let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you. Let's start. So x of t is r of t minus r of t minus 1 minus r of t minus 3 plus r of t minus 4. So to make the drawing of the signal easier, we will split it into 4 parts because there are 4 parts of the operations. So first we have r of t, then we have r of t minus 1, then we have r of t minus 3, then r of t minus 4. Now r of t, you know, it's a ramp signal, unit ramp signal, which is going to start at 0, end at infinity with amplitude at as t like at t equal to 1 it will be t that is 1 at t equal to 2 amplitude is going to be 2 at t equal to 3 it's going to be 3 and so on so it's a 45 degree angle or inclined line to the right hand side of the y axis and r of t minus 1 is going to be a shifted version of the same signal and it's a delay because it's minus delay meaning we are going to shift to the right so I'm shifting it to the right by 1. So our signal is going to start from 1 instead of 0 with same amplitudes. So at t equal to 2, it's going to be 1 now, not going to be 2 because we have shifted it to the right. Similarly, at t equal to 3, it's going to be 3, uh, 2 and then t equal to 4, it's going to be 3 and so on. What we have to do is subtract these two. Now to subtract, you can see that from 0 to 1, as mentioned in the previous videos, if the second signal's amplitude is zero, you can draw the first signal's shape as it is to make it easier. So that is what I have drawn here. So the resultant signal from zero to one is going to have the same shape as the first signal. Then from at one, you can see first signal's amplitude is one, second signal's amplitude is zero. So one minus zero is one. So you can plot this point over here so this you can say it's 1 minus 2 at t equal to 2 first signal's amplitude is 2 second signal's amplitude is 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 again you can plot that over here similarly at t equal to 3 first signal's amplitude is 3 second signal's amplitude is 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 and similarly at 4 will be 4 minus 3 is 1 and so on. So this thing is going to continue until infinity because both of the signals are going to continue till infinity. So you can see that if I connect these dots because both of the signals are having the same slope, you can take it as a DC signal or a continuous straight signal from 1 to infinity. So from 0 to 1 we have same shape as the first signal. From 1 to infinity it's going to be a straight signal or a step signal which is going to go. Now let's go to the third part. Third part is r of t minus 3. This is again a delayed version and r of t minus 4 is also a delayed version. This is going to be by 3 and this is going to be by 4. So first I have drawn r of t minus 3. So it's starting at 3. Amplitude at 4 is going to be 1. At 5 is going to be 2 and so on. Now, if I add this, like if I subtract this signal from this 1 minus 2 signal that we have drawn, what will we get? Because this is a unit step signal from 3 to infinity and from 3 to infinity, this is a unit ramp signal. Subtraction of both is going to give us a mirror image of the ramp signal. So, you can see that. To make it easier for you, from 3 to 4, first signal's amplitude is 1. And from 3 to 4, second signal's amplitude is uh, changing from 0 to 1. So what can you do is, at 3.5, first signal's amplitude is 1. Second signal's amplitude is 
पॉइंट फाइव राइट सेकेंड सिक्वेंस एम्पलीट्यूड इज पॉइंट फाइव बिकॉज इट्स अ स्लोप ऑफ वन सो वन माइनस पॉइंट फाइव इज गोइंग टू बी पॉइंट फाइव सो यू कैन जस्ट प्लॉट दैट ओवर योर एंड देन एट फोर फर्स्ट सिग्नल एम्पलीट्यूड इज वन सेकेंड सिग्नल एम्पलीट्यूड इज वन सो इट्स गोइंग टू गो टू जीरो यू कैन जस्ट जॉइन दीज टू पॉइंट सिमिलरली एट फाइव फर्स्ट सिग्नल एम्पलीट्यूड इज वन सेकेंड सिग्नल एम्पलीट्यूड इज टू सो वन माइनस टू इज गोइंग टू बी माइनस वन so that is what over here then again 1 minus 3 is going to give us minus 2 so you can just join these dots and draw the resultant signal so this is going to continue till infinity because both of these signals are going to continue to infinity so this is our signal you can see is 1 minus 2 minus 3 because this is the third part of the signal now fourth part of the signal fourth part of the signal is r of t minus 4 right this is the fourth part of the signal now this fourth part we have to add with whatever we have got until now because it's a plus sign now if you see from 4 to 5 first signal's amplitude is changing from 0 to minus 1 second signal's amplitude is changing from 0 to plus 1 Similarly, at five to six, first signal is changing from minus one to minus two. This is changing from one to two. So, if you see, you can just see that both of them are just mirror images of the signal across the t-axis of the RAM signal across the t-axis. So, if you see by logic, when you are going to add both the mirror images, you are going to get a zero value because at t equal to five. first signal's amplitude is 1 second signal's amplitude is sorry first signal's amplitude is minus 1 second signal's amplitude is 1 at 6 first signal's amplitude is minus 2 second signal's amplitude is 2 and this is going to go on so minus 2 plus 2 is 0 and so on so it's going to be 0 continuously and from 0 to 4 you can just draw the signal as it is as mentioned before so when you are going to add these two signals from 4 to infinity the value is going to be 0 from infinity minus infinity to 0 it's anyway 0 from 0 to 4 second signal doesn't have any amplitude which is 0 so you can just draw this first signal from 0 to 4 that is what i have drawn here so this is a resultant signal x of t so maximum amplitude is 1 and we have a ramp then step and then again ramp decrease this is our signal which we were expecting hope you understood this if you have any doubt related to this video or any other concept in electronics or computer science engineering please let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you Please like share and subscribe to Manual Tutorials for more. Thank you for watching.